Why do deployment strategies matter in software development? Why should anyone care about how software gets from development to production? Well, the answers to these questions are crucial in understanding the lifeline of software development. To start with, we have automated deployments. These are like your personal butler doing all the hard work for you. Automated deployments utilize tools and scripts to move code changes from development to various environments. Imagine a conveyor belt transporting your precious software from one stage to another. The automated deployment process ensures speed and consistency, reducing the risk of human error and configuration inconsistencies. It's like having a robot in an assembly line. Every deployment follows the same process, ensuring a reliable and consistent environment for testing and staging. On top of that, automated deployments make frequent iterations feasible. This means that developers can release changes rapidly, ensuring the most recent version is always available for testing. But the icing on the cake? Automated deployments facilitate easy rollbacks. If something goes wrong, teams can quickly revert to a previous version. It's like having a time machine, but for your software. And let's not forget about efficiency. Automated deployments free developers from the manual deployment process, allowing them to focus on what they do best, coding, testing, and refining the application. But what about manual deployments? While automated deployments are great for non-production environments, manual deployments are the preferred choice for production environments. And there are several good reasons for this. Firstly, manual deployments help mitigate risk. Production environments directly impact users and business operations, so having a human gatekeeper to review changes and decide when to deploy can be crucial. Secondly, manual deployments can handle complexity and variability better. Production environments often involve intricate setups, and manual deployments allow teams to tailor the deployment process to these specific considerations. Thirdly, manual deployments can help with regulatory compliance. In industries with strict regulations, having a human oversee the process can ensure all compliance requirements are met. And finally, manual deployments allow for real-time monitoring. Operators can closely watch the deployment process and its impact on the production environment, identifying and resolving any unexpected behavior quickly. In conclusion, choosing the right deployment strategy can significantly impact the success of your software release process. Automated deployments offer speed, consistency, and efficiency, making them ideal for testing and staging environments. Manual deployments, on the other hand, provide risk mitigation, adaptability, and real-time monitoring, making them the preferred choice for production environments. Remember, the right deployment strategy isn't about choosing one over the other, but about using each where they shine the most. The best strategy is a combined approach that harnesses the strengths of both automated and manual deployments. And that's a wrap on deployment strategies in software development. Until next time, keep deploying. Our mantra, learn, adapt and code. It's not just about writing lines of code, it's about evolving with technology. Subscribe now and stay tuned for more coding excitement. Until next time, happy coding.